In our server client setup, these two devices will be connected using a router. This router is directly connected to our server and our client has Windows 10 operating system and it will be connected through wireless connection. For the meantime, the server is set into dynamic IP address so that we can configure the router. Let us configure the router. If you can still remember, again, to configure it, let us go to our browser and then type the IP address of the router in our address bar. So our IP address is 192.168.1.1. So we are now in router's configuration window. So to enter, let us type the username, which is admin, and the password is also admin. In this scenario, we are using Linksys router. Then let us log in. Let us cancel this. And then let us look for the wireless name or the network SSID. So let us proceed to wireless. And then the network name or SSID is Linksys 00670. Now, let us find out the password for this router so that when we are going to connect the client, we can easily enter the password. So, let us proceed to wireless security. Let us disable first the DHCP server. What is the function of DHCP and why do we need to disable it? When you say DHCP, that is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Server, wherein it allows server to assign IP address to computers or other devices that are enabled as DHCP clients. So meaning the server will, will be the one IP addresses to all the clients that will be connected to it, not the router. So let us disable the DHCP. So after doing that, sharing center then click on right click on this local area connection and choose properties and click on use the file IP address so this time we will be using static IP address so, we are going to align our IP address to our router's IP address. Our router's IP address is 192.168.1.1. So, meaning, 1 is allotted to our router. And for our server... Let us configure the IP address of our client, which has Windows 10 operating system. So, we have second way on how to change the IP address. Let us click on the network icon located here on the taskbar. Choose Open Network and Internet Settings. Select Change Adapter Options. And then, on the Ethernet icon, right-click on it and choose Properties. And look for Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Then click on Properties. This time, our Windows 10 is already set into dynamic IP address. 
which is also known as obtain an IP address automatically. Click on OK button, then close. And that's it on how to set the Windows 10 into dynamic IP address.